In Kagoshima, Japan, Saigo Takamori watches over his lines of samurai. Ahead of him lies the end of their way of life and the end of their privileges. This would be the death of the samurai, brought down by the gun. Imperial forces had pressed them to this final position, weighing their strength and crushing the Satsuma Rebellion. The heart of Bushido still stood strong among the samurai, however, determined to fight until the end, maintaining their last bit of honor against the coming force. In the prior years, Commodore Perry had forced the country open, bringing in the black ships to the Bay of Edo and ending an era of isolation in Japan. After the Boshin Wars and further bloodshed, the new Emperor Meiji rose to bring Japan out of its old ways and begin to change the nation forever. When the siege of Kumamoto Castle ended with failure for the samurai, the last of the samurai retreated back to Satsuma, moving to a hill overlooking Kagoshima named Shiroyama. General Aritomo followed Saigo with an imperial army of his own, along with marines under Admiral Sumiyoshi. By the time the men were in position, the 500 samurai were surrounded by 30,000 imperials. Throughout the encirclement, Aritomo built a series of fortifications around the hill, taking his time to make sure of a victory. Before the battle, however, five warships arrived and began to pummel the hill and destroy any defensive works created by the rebels. Admiral Samui Sumiyoshi then asked of the samurai unconditional surrender, with the offer that all could go free if they brought forth Saigo. If no response was received by 5 p.m., the attack would quickly begin and the rebels would be destroyed. Soon, the bombardment continued, destroying their ranks and inflicting heavy casualties. Saigo defended his position with the use of Snyder Enfield rifles, along with artillery, though he lacked ammunition for both. Saigo treated his lack of supplies by melting down statues to make new bullets and using the brutality of carpenter saws to treat his wounded. The samurai faced one final bombardment before, at 4 a.m., the battle commenced officially. The samurai charged the imperial forces, moving forward to pull the imperials into close quarter sword fighting, which would give the samurai a natural advantage. The samurai ravaged the imperial lines, cutting them down with superior skill and breaking the imperials. Though the samurai could not hold the ground and were quickly ordered back. At 6 a.m., there were only 40 samurai left. However, during the stand, Saigo Takamori, commander of the samurai, was mortally wounded. Shot several times, he was aided by Beppu Shinsuke, who helped him to find a private place to commit honorable seppuku. Following this, Shinsuke removed and hid Saigo's head, though the haste of this led it to be found by a peasant after the battle. With the rebellion breaking apart and the samurais out of ammo, Shinsuke made one last resolution. He took the last of the samurai and charged downhill, directly into imperial fire to which they would fall and the battle would end. The Satsuma Rebellion would cost the imperial government 420 million yen to put down, though the cultural and political costs would be far greater. The rebellion and its cost would take Japan off of the gold standard and force it onto paper currency. It would also lead to a decrease in tax on farming land and greatly inflated Japan's national debt. The samurai class would never rise again, and centuries of tradition would soon fade away. However, one cannot forget the cultural impact of the samurai. Traditions such as raising carp or growing sunflowers can still be seen today, along with the obvious impacts of what could be dubbed the samurai aesthetic. <laughs>